developing now at nine. Two people in the hospital tonight after an apartment fire in southeast DC. This happened just before two this afternoon. You can see here on Bowen Road. DC News Now's Daniel Hamburg joining us live tonight from the scene. And Daniel, a lot of people are without a home tonight. Yeah, Chris, we are here at the Oxford Manor apartment complex where uh, more than two dozen people are out of a home. I can still hear some alarms blaring behind me as firefighters monitor this place overnight to make sure the no more hot spots flare up. Video from DC Fire and EMS shows the massive plumes of smoke coming from two apartment buildings around 2 p.m. Andrina Adams was in her kitchen when she heard a commotion upstairs. Sound like, get out of my house. It's smoking is. You smoking in my house? Her upstairs neighbor came down and said there was smoke. I look up. Oh, the smoke was coming from up there. OMG. I saw a rabbit knock knocking on people door. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. I mean, I mean, me and her going up and down the steps. When firefighters arrived, they found fire on a second floor balcony and in the roof. The exact cause is unknown at this time. These are actually well-built buildings. Um, it's still standing even though the roof is essentially burnt off it. So this is what you see smoking in a, is, the, is the building itself and the contents. It's pretty normal when you have a large fire. One person was rescued and taken to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. A firefighter was also taken to the hospital because of heat exhaustion and will be okay. Chief John Donnelly says working in the heat is extremely taxing. There's a saying that 15 minutes fighting a fire is like eight hours of hard labor. With her parakeet named Tim, Adams is happy to have made it out unscathed. I guess I will have to find another place to live for the next couple of days. I just hope my stuff ain't all messed up. Now, nearly 30 apartment built apartments were affected. The Red Cross is on scene. They have several vans on the other side of this apartment building uh, helping those affected with things like medication replacement, financial assistance, and of course, connecting them to resources to help them in the near and long term. We're live in Southeast. Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now. Hey,